So for loading the character we have this simple main menu with a camera and a UI with a list of buttons that we are going to generate and the button that jumps directly to the character creation scene. So we create the buttons here already and I got the code from this link by the way. What it does is to look in the folder that we save the character or contain all the characters that we saved and for each file we are going to generate a new button with the name of the file. Then we are going to connect this button on click to this method that is contained on the game instance script. Game instance is auto loaded and contains general information and changing the scene functionality and spawn the player functionality. So when we click the button we spawn the player and we get the button with the name of the player. So we, we instance the player, we have the child and we get the data of the player. We are going to feed this dictionary with this method that is on the save menu or on the save script. Um, on load character we do the same, we, we, got the, we got the path, we read the character, we get the data by parsing the JSON and we return this data. So we're going to feed the character with this data returned by this method and we are going to load this character. We're going to load this character and then we are going to load the features because it's, it's separated into, into methods. So we see load character is going to load the bones and load the blend shapes. That's how we see the loading bones we're going to iterate with this data that we passed. We're going to iterate on the bones we want to modify which are this. It's going to iterate on this and if the name is the same like this so it's going to apply this float value on this method which is the set bone you just simply get the transform you find the name of the bone and you translate it on the y-axis on the data we sent we set the custom pose and uh, oh yeah we have to adjust the the spine to the length of the bones of the thigh on the scene and yeah that's pretty much it so um, load oh there's a thing here uh, for example each bone has only one value on the y-axis which is a float so you can parse it without any problem but the head bone is a full transform and it's stored as a, as, as a string so you need to convert that string by splitting in the commas and getting all the matrix with x, y, z, x, y, z, x, y, z and convert it to x, y, z again so you construct this transform and this is going to be the scale and this is going to be the translation that is going to be nothing because you are not translating the head and then you apply this transform to the head here so then you load the blend shapes we get the data and this is just one line you know you have to set all the blend shapes with the data. So the next step is to load the features. That means that you have to convert all the data in the JSON file as if it was the UI, more or less. And well, this is called here, load features. And this is pretty much hard coded because each parameter pro probably needs a specific way to be assigned. But yeah, you are getting the char character data and you set the skin color or or these methods that we have been using for converting the UI parameters to the character parameters is pretty much the same and sometimes you have to convert color from JSON and do some stuff it's a bit hard coded but it's okay I think not, a, not that big, not that bad <laughs> so that's pretty much it when you click on a character it will send a signal 
it will spawn the character and it will load. No. So that's it. When you click a button, you are going to spawn the character. You are going to feed the character with information and load the character with that information. So you are ready to go. So for preset loading, this is quite simple. Uh, you have these buttons connected already to this function. And you pass the name, which is going to be preset 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we, you get the data here in the save script which is the same as we loaded the character and um, yeah, you feed the character with this data and here you have this sliders array that we stored and the color presets array and it's going to get the value of the sliders and it's going to emit the signal it's going to change the value of the sliders depending on what you have in the file and the color presets are going to emit the signal so it's going to have, it's going to take this value, it's going to emit the signal that we click this, this value and we are going to assign all of these values to the sliders. So when you press it, everything is going to change and set up here. So yeah, this is pretty much the load and save system. So this is it by the moment, just let me know in the comments if I'm missing some important information, something is unclear or I'm lacking something because I don't have experience with doing tutorials. But yeah, I hope you understood some concepts and how everything works here in this project and hopefully you can use it in your own projects and you learn something. So yeah, see you in the next time.